You people down south drive like a bunch of honey badgers. Y'all don't give up about going 100 miles an hour. I'm just glad I've got the silver bullet that's been allowing me to go 100 miles an hour and keep up with everyone. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Another episode of Elite Landscapes, Life Stories. And obviously, it's Soulmate, because we're on a special mission. Yes. Like we promised, we're taking you guys on our vacation trip with us. And uh been a long time, hadn't it? Very long time. Very. Yeah. Long time coming. And, of course, we can't get the lifestyle of plants and landscaping out of our systems. That's just what we do and who we are. So, we are down here in Charlotte, North Carolina right now for a little pit stop at a beautiful garden center nursery. So we'll show you around the place, indoor, outdoor plants, and uh, we have a special guest showing up, one of our warrior brothers here. Yep, we'll see who it is. Stick around, we'll show you. So those of you that are around the uh, Charlotte area probably know Oakdale Greenhouses. From what I can tell, they have a nice selection of a whole lot of different and beautiful, unique plants. So I'm actually kind of jealous because she knows it's always been my dream just to be able to grow and watch these plants and trees prosper and then sell them. But uh, never had the property to do it and I'm not to that stage yet. Yet in life right yeah we all we'll have there yeah we all have plans and uh we're on a mission so yeah one day we may have a couple different channels for y'all to enjoy we'll see how it all ends up all right there's so many amazing house plants just incredible house plants and terrarium plants and y'all already know that we have dart frogs and we uh soulmate builds terrariums and such but yeah these are amazing really cool place look at that look at that so here's an example of why i've always wanted to grow and sell plants <clears throat> this little guy right here him. this little guy right here is a uh, a Thai constel very famous right now he is $136 <laughs> after you get the genetics you know how many of these you can clone and just grow and grow for $136 a piece wow all right, thought I'd show you an example. That little dude is $70. So pretty. Wow, love it, love it. How much was that cousin head So like I promised, we got one of the warriors here hanging out with us now. And he's rolling with this amazing gravely in this beautiful dump trailer. Look at that thing. That thing is beasty. Here we go. We got, for those of you who are close, it's Big H. Everyone else is Eddie H. Eddie H. And uh, he's in Charlotte, North Carolina. 
doing his gig as a warrior and running his own business. And uh, how many years have you been doing it? Oh, wow. Since about 98. 98? Yeah. That's a long time, all right? So he's definitely hit that warrior status for sure. And uh, he's a big friend of the channel. He's been around since day one. I know he, he was in a circle that found me first. And I know he was one of my first subscribers, so I had to stop by and see him. You know, my vacation, that's what we do. Good to see you, my buddy. Yeah, Finally man. meet him. Yeah. The so, legend, the myth. Hey. Randy. Guys, Eddie does have a channel, so look up Eddie H, right? Isn't it? I've, I've got a channel. I've got uh, two or three videos, not many. I need to start doing some more. So. Yeah, it's real life talk. You know, it's, it's truck talk about the real stuff that we go through out here so yep. uh i know plenty of guys in my channel that's what we thrive on we don't often want to hear the equipment after we're done working but we don't actually want to watch anybody else work most of the time but we do thrive on those those mental thoughts that we all have out here and uh they do benefit all of us when we hear them yep. so yeah check his channel out and it's an honor to meet him honestly it's an honor to meet him here so Anything, any thoughts, any, any? No, it's just glad to finally meet you, man. Cool. You want to talk to the warriors that, that hang out with us on these live streams and stuff? Don't ever give up. Always keep pushing, pushing. Sometimes I feel like it myself. At the end of the day, I, I keep pushing. Well, that's the bottom line, guys. Uh, we were just talking, you know, about how lots of us watch different channels and Lots of us that have channels have comments come in that compare our businesses with their businesses, their life with our life. And at the end of the day, it comes down to you have a business or you have a dream. Focus on that. Sorry about that. Focus on what you have and where you want to be. Because I'm in my own box. It's labeled the way that I want it. He's built his own box. He's labeled it the way he wants it. We're different boxes, branded differently, and we're still in the same profession. We're still living the dream. We don't have anyone telling us what to do, when to take bathroom breaks, when to be here, when to leave. None of that stuff. And it's an amazing life, is it yep. not? Yep. Yeah. Once you experience the freeness of owning a business and doing your own gig, no matter how big or small it is, you appreciate the fact you don't ever have to go back to that slave mindset working for the man. So, me and Eddie are going to kick it a little bit longer. You already know soulmates in there buying plants and all sorts of stuff in the nurseries. I already showed you those things. So, we'll check back in. And, uh, yeah, stop by Eddie's channel. Yeah. Uh, damn good to meet you, man. I appreciate you uh, hollering at me and meeting up. And, yeah. Yeah, man, it's it's great. I I really do enjoy the whole YouTube experience and meeting people that I wouldn't have ever thought that I'd be possible to meet and be friends with. So keep on spreading the good vibes, everybody. And video's not over, but this little section is. So give Eddie a big peace, peace sign <laughs> in the comments and give him some love on his channel. All right, we'll be back. So Eddie's gravely here has an amazing feature on it and gravely is a well-known well-established company it's the first mower i ever learned how to mow grass on big commercial 48 inch belt driven back in the day and they're built like tanks they got the big tires in the back the big front caster tires it's a tank but i've always wondered people call me all right i've always wondered on the stand-ons how you float the deck all right because on the riders that i have it's easy to float the deck above roots above curbs above anything so no scalp and let me show you that this standard the gravely model look at this cool stuff changes my mindset on the stand on so this pedal is mounted right here where he stands and this actually floats the deck up and down man so Many of us were thinking that the deck lever is all you would have, but Gravely stepped it up a notch, man. So kudos to Gravely. And uh, 
Dude, that's amazing. I'm glad that I stopped and looked at his mower, man. That's awesome. So we got here nice and safe. Uh, missed our 420 arrival time, but that's all good, right? So as you can see behind me in the mirror, this is the room. There ain't much to it. <laughs> Boom. We got an awesome view, though. And, uh, man, I'll show you the view real quick. And then I guess we'll go around and see what else we can find in Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a good view, but the balcony, man, I'm not too, uh, not too fond of the balcony because they sealed it all off. <laughs> Can't even use the balcony, but it's pretty nice. I'm not going to complain. And we're only here for one night, so it's really cool. Here we are. We made it to our destination. Finally going out to dinner and celebrate how many years together? 26. 26 years married and 30 years together. 30 years together. So, yeah, we thought this beautiful church behind us would be a good start off to our downtown show of events. So we are headed to T-Bone's Steakhouse. And, uh, yeah, we'll take you with us and we'll let you know how it is. We got some apple pie and some bourbon pecan. Ooh. All right, so the plans never go as we always think. We had to go eat dessert before we ate our steaks. And uh, yeah, good move. We're at Kaminsky's dessert. And um, <laughs> yeah, I just showed you what it looked like. So one of the big attractions down here in Charleston is the uh, haunted tours. <laughs> We're not on one, of course, because we don't roll like that. We don't like to get told what to do, but we're here at the graveyard. Pretty wild. This is nighttime footage. The haunted tours. <laughs> so this is a special segment from my uh, conspiracy theory brothers out there check this out I just randomly looked down and saw these plaques on the side of this building so I'm going to read this to you. It says, On this site stood the building in which the Supreme Council of the 33rd Degree, Mother Council of the World, Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry was founded May 31st, 1801 A.D. Corresponding to Sivan 195561 A.M. 
Solomon's Lodge Number One, ancient Freemasons, chartered by the Grand Lodge of England, 1735, was organized on this site, October 28th, 1736. That's insane, boys. That's insane. Figures it's a bank now. <laughs> Figures. Alright, so there it is. That's the building. It's kind of creepy, man. It just shows you what creeps run the world now. This is a really, really cool place to visit, guys. Really awesome. <laughs> Got a castle behind us. <laughs> Look at that timing. I didn't even know they were back there. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, talk about some creepy, creepy. So here's the story. We loved downtown Charleston last night in the dark, walking around those graveyards and the churches and everything else that was just so old and really established. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Masonic discovery that I had that you know only people like me happen to look down at the right times and see weird stuff like that <laughs> So the hotel holiday in Charleston, South Carolina Put you on blast guys the place is old. Don't stay there. Okay. It was not a very comfortable stay the room was kind of cold and wet feeling because you had to keep the AC on obviously but you know we woke up in the morning and honestly we did not want to walk around Charleston when it was 101 degrees before the day even started. And um, we wanted to keep the good memory of the night before a good memory. So we're going to come back to Charleston probably in January or February. We'll wear long sleeves or sweatshirts and we'll have a much better time. Because I'll tell you what, as Soulmate will agree, the heat down here. No yeah. Joke. The heat down here is intense and uh humidity. I say humidity. yeah humidity the humidity is just insane and if you haven't gone down south you're missing out on torture <laughs> no just kidding very beautiful but we didn't want to stick around charleston we jumped in the ride and we are headed now to florida and we just drove through savannah which we're going to be coming back to in another video so as always, be good if you can, always be kind, and above all, love each other. And I will say this, you people down south drive like a bunch of honey badgers. Y'all don't give up about going 100 miles an hour. I'm just glad I've got the silver bullet that's been allowing me to go 100 miles an hour and keep up with everyone. <laughs> we'll check back in for the next vacation video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.
elite landscape style.